One of the questions I get asked a lot is where do I buy all the Game Boys I use for modding? eBay is usually the easiest option to tell people and I do get a fair amount of retro inventory from eBay. There is however a website that I prefer for finding some great deals on retro games. This site is called buy.jp and in this video I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what the site is and how to purchase games using it. So let's get into it. So when you first pull up buy.jp, this is how it's going to look. It's going to ask you if you want to translate the page to English. If you speak English, then keep it on that. That helps out a lot with the searching. So let's start here for first time users. So what is buy? The proxy purchase service buy allows you to buy items from Japanese and American e-commerce sites and ship them to destinations all over the world. So what does that mean? Basically, the way that buy works is Yahoo Japan auction is one of the biggest auction sites in Japan. It's a lot like eBay. There's a couple different ones, but Yahoo's the one we're going to focus on today. The way it works is shipping from Japan straight to say the US is really expensive. What Bai does is it consolidates your items to one facility, it puts them all in one package and then ships them all together and you end up saving a lot of money for everybody. And it's really been great. There's a couple other services out there. I know a lot of people like using Sendico and there's a couple other ones, but Buy is the only one I've ever used. I've been using it for a couple years. I like it a lot and I'll explain why. One of the reasons is you don't have to add funds like some of them. This one, you can just link up your PayPal or your credit card and it's you're good to go. You can just bid on stuff and uh, it's just been great. They're really quick with shipping. They have a couple different shipping options and I'll go over those. But for now, let's just go over a couple quick key things. So let's go over the usage fees. So the purchase fee is 300 yen. That's really not a lot. It's like 30 cents or something. And then they have these different plans uh, for insurance. I've never, I've always done the standard plan. It's like five bucks. So definitely read through this. And I would advise you to also read through the frequently asked questions page because there's a lot of good information there. They'll tell you more and they'll elaborate on some of the stuff I'm telling you now, but we're gonna stick to the main stuff, which is how to search, how to find items, and then how to consolidate your packages once they show up in the storage facility. So basically when you buy items, say I buy a Game Boy from one seller, I buy a GameCube from one seller, and I buy a PS Vita from another seller. All those different sellers are gonna ship the item to the storage facility. And then once it gets there, the storage facility will hold it up to 30 days at no extra charge. Basically while you're waiting for all your packages to get there, they'll hold the packages that you have already there. Then once you have all your packages there, you just consolidate them all into one package and it saves you a lot on shipping and you can end up getting your stuff really a lot quicker all at once, it's great. So as you can see here, payment methods, they use PayPal, credit card, you just sign up for it like how you would any other site. So let's go through and search something and I'll show you how we get into bidding. So let's just search Game Boy. Translates everything for you so you don't have to worry about typing anything in Japanese. So we'll just go through some stuff here. Um, I try to look for the stuff that's closer to the ending before I bid on it. I, I usually don't bid on anything unless it has like 16 hours left. But as you can see, there's so much of this like rarer stuff on here. There's an inbox micro right there. Charizard SP five days left on that the site's pretty dangerous because <laughs> there's so much good stuff on it I mean I spent so much time on this site just finding stuff and uh, it's just cool to just look at stuff sometimes like if I go here let's go to uh, price high to low this is where you find the, the gems <laughs> what is this I don't even, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh I don't even know what that card is but $13,000 apparently let's see there's a huge lot right there there's a Latios Latios GBA some really cool stuff let's go ahead and search GameCube they got some good GameCube stuff too We'll go ahead and use this one as our example for bidding. So this is a pretty good, I mean, it's got 15 hours left, two bids, only at $8.29, definitely gonna go up. With the box on one of the cubes, that's a really good deal. Go ahead and translate, we'll see what it has to say. Current listing, junk cannot be returned. No claim, no return, no customers, please do not bid, please transfer within two days, you cash on delivery only. I don't know what that means, you cash. I think that's just part of the payment service because if it lets me bid on it, I can definitely bid on it because I've had, sometimes it, they won't sell you stuff if you're in a certain region and it'll say it up top, like really big, like seller does not sell to you or something like that. So for this one, that looks good. So I'm gonna explain what the sniper bid is. I use it sometimes, I don't really use it that often. It's a pretty cool mechanic though. The way that it works is you put a snipe bid in and if I put a snipe bid in right here, basically what it's gonna do is I, I put my max bid, say I want a $300 or 33,000-ish yen, something like that. It will bid for me like five minutes before the auction ends. So I don't really have to be there. And I think that eBay actually used to have this mechanic too. It's pretty cool. I don't use it that often. They only allow you one sniper bid at a time. Uh, so you can do it. I'm just gonna place a normal bid. So the way that it works is we place a bid 
when they're as is i just assume they're all broken so how much would i pay for one two three four five six seven eight nine broken game cubes safe 40 bucks a game cube so let's i just like to press a bunch of buttons so there's a bunch of threes now let's go i'm not good at transaction math 271 that's a pretty good that's pretty i mean i'd be happy if i won it for that price so we're gonna go ahead and bid on this and it says my bid's been placed so i can that means that i bid enough and i'll return to the item page and it looks like we're doing good we're winning the bid it's only a nine nine dollars four cents so we'll see so let me go back to my watch list and i'll show you what the watch list looks like i'm currently the highest bidder Ooh. all right some this is some of the stuff i've been watching something i'm bidding on right there i saw this really sweet mew ds recently did i did i like that oh it ended didn't it let me show you guys this is really cool i've never i see stuff on here that i've never seen before because japan just has stuff that we never got check this out that's why it's really fun to look at stuff on here just look it's just like you find the coolest stuff i'm like oh, okay a mew fat ds it's like lightly pink and then it has a mew on the front right there that looks so cool that is so cool and it's pokemon center as you can see right there so that was pretty neat that was just something i wanted to show you guys it sold for thirteen hundred seventy dollars which is nuts that is so crazy for a fat ds but you know i don't know if it says how many they made translation is pretty good on this site honestly so another thing about this site is a lot of times the people will just list stuff and they don't have a good description the translation doesn't work so you're kind of taking a gamble on it <laughs> uh, i have won an item that we're gonna get i'll show you right here this is the item I thought was interesting. So it just says junk Nintendo GameCube, GameCube body only with box, six piece set, GameCube, Nintendo GameCube. So to me, that sounds like body only, which means it's the body, like the GameCube itself, right? With the box, but it just doesn't come with the adapters or anything like that or no, or controllers. It's just the body. All right. But this is the only picture that they have, right? When I scroll down, it just says the same exact thing. This is a bunch of just like type of stuff they put on everything. Judge the accessories based on product, blah, 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 by the photos. Situation, software, body, box, instructions, remarks. There is feeling of use. There are scratches and stains out of stock. It's just a bunch of words. <laughs> like it doesn't really mean anything. And you can't really message these people. And you, you have to, you have to know that you're not going to get your money back if you win something on here. I've never had an issue, but like, w since it's coming from the seller to the proxy service warehouse to you, if you think you're going to make a return, I just, I just, you just know you're not going to make a return. So I kind of made a gamble on this. Um, honestly, six GameCube boxes for $111 is still a good deal if they're empty boxes. That's why I was like, well, whatever. Uh, so we're going to see when I get it, stay tuned to the end of this video because it's going to be a couple weeks until I get all this stuff in. But that would be really sweet if all of these GameCube boxes had GameCubes in them. All right, let's go back to my page and then shipping information. And I'm going to show you guys how to consolidate packages. So when you buy an item, it's going to show up here and it's going to say shipping right here. And that'll mean that it's being shipped by the seller to the warehouse. And that means you just need to wait because you don't pay for that shipping right away. Once it arrives at the warehouse like this, that's when you can consolidate all your items into one package. So I have, let's like take a look at what I got. I have three, I bought these game cubes just in case those uh, boxes are empty. I do have a couple extra game cubes coming. So, and then I have, uh, let me just show you everything. We got a 3DS here, 135 on that. That's pretty good with the three games. You know, that's a good price. The shipping on this one is going to be pretty high. So, you know, if you are buying like a PS Vita and some Game Boys and stuff, you have a small box, your shipping will be like 50 bucks or something like that. But because I'm having all these game cubes, I mean, it's telling me right here, my shipping is going to be $213. But when I select shipping method, if I wanted to ship this item by itself, it's says buy air delivery right here is like that it's not that they're they're like give me the price for the top end right here but there's there's cheaper options that are just as fast as this one it's kind of weird but uh we're not going to do that i'm going to show you how to add package consolidation so what you want to do is once you have all your items right here in front of you you just want to go ahead and check all the boxes i'm going to check all those boxes and then we're going to click add package consolidation so now it says is apply for package consolidation of the following packages do you want to add protective? No, I don't. The package consolidation fee is about $7.50. All looks good. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and click apply for package consolidation. Can't be canceled once you do it. So once you do it, it's, it's done, it's gone. And there you go, now all your items are right here. They're gonna get everything together for you. They're gonna put it in, this is gonna be a big box. So this is probably gonna be one of the most expensive packages I've ever bought in, because I've never bought in this many GameCubes at once, but they packaged up really well. And uh, I'll check back in a couple days and we'll see how much the shipping ends up being. And while we're here, let's go ahead and look for some some other cool stuff. Uh, PlayStation has some really good Japanese exclusives. Let's go ahead and search PlayStation. Just scroll through here. That looks like a pretty cool PS4 Pro. Oh, sweet, a K truck. I wonder what it'd be like to buy a car on here. Maybe I should just do it. <laughs> Yo, this thing is sick. I'm actually gonna watch this. Oh, look at, see, this is like a really good lot right here. Look at this lot. 13 hours left. One bid, 13 hours left. 10 PS3s. The shipping would be murder, but oh, these look really good. These are some nice looking PS3s. All right, let's see what it has to say. All right, for this one, so it says the models right here, different units that it comes with. Uh, the red one's really cool. Most of the storage items are energized, but since I'm not an expert, I will sell, I will sell without checking operation. Okay, so if that says energized, that means they turn on. Looks pretty legit, honestly. Looks like they're. Uh, this is a pretty good listing. A lot of times I'll just bid on stuff. You know, it's like if I bought 10 PS3s for 20 bucks each, I'm not gonna be mad if none of them work, you know? So, so I went ahead and placed a bid for 10,000 yen. Let's try to find a good Game Boy Advance lot for you guys. All right, so we're searching through Game Boy Advance. Here's a good listing right here. 10 GBAs, 14 hours left. I'm gonna place a bid on that. That's a pretty good deal. Um, let's see what it says. No guarantee, because they're unconfirmed. Most of them are gonna say unconfirmed. But sometimes you can look at them, and as long as the, as long as you can, here, this is the picture we want right here. Okay, all the battery covers are there. They don't look that bad. I'm willing to pay, let's see, 30 bucks each. It's about 300, so 30 bucks each on those. Be, let's just type in a bunch of threes. That's pretty close. So our total will be 283. Go ahead and place that bid. And my bid's been placed. All right, guys, so I'll check back with you in a couple days once the consolidation is done and the package is ready to ship. All right, guys, we are back. Bayou finally got done consolidating my packages all together into one giant package. Uh, and I actually learned something new here. I'm gonna show you what I learned. So earlier in the video, I showed you we had a list of all of our packages and we went through and we'd made check marks on each one of them and then consolidated them all into one package. So what I learned was that the default shipping that Bayou uses on package consolidation is EMS shipping, but EMS has some sort of limitation on weight. So what was happening, because those orders so large, when I was consolidating the packages, it kept kicking me back and saying that there was an error, there was an error. So what I needed to do was actually go down here. So just pretend that this is one package, exactly how it looked before. And you click select shipping methods right here on the normal package. It was auto selected on EMS. So what I actually had to do is I had to go to each package. It was all five things. So I had to go through and then I had to change each one of them to buy e air delivery, which is cheaper anyways, as you can see. They want me to pick EMS. Let's go to EMS and see how much they would have charged me for this. So right now, as it shows, they would have it would have been $500 to consolidate these packages, which was basically what every individual package was. It was like $600 or something like that. And if you remember, they wanted to charge me around 200 and something for one of the GameCube packages. Now, if I go and change the shipping method to buy air delivery, which is literally faster, this part of the website doesn't make sense to me, but buy air delivery, literally faster, two to seven days, over half is taken off the price. So let's finalize changes. That's how you do it. Now it brings us back here, we scroll down and we see all five of our packages right here. And then as you can see, all five of those packages consolidated ended up being $270. So that's really good. Uh, like I said, it was saying that one of the GameCube packages was going to be like 215 or something like that. So putting all the GameCube boxes, all the GameCubes, and then the other items that I had into one package ending up being $270 is amazing. That's really good. So after you get to that point, scroll down, use credit card or however you want to pay, make sure everything checks out. And then you go ahead and you just click check out. And then it says your payment's complete. So now our payment's complete. It'll show your order number right here. And when you go back to Yahoo Auction, 
and now your stuff will be transferred from the storage it won't be there anymore because now it's being moved into the shipping phase and now it says it's preparing your shipment so you can come and check back here and eventually you'll get a tracking number here and i believe it will show up dhl or ups it's different sometimes i think it's usually ups so the package consolidation took about well because i was having issues it kept canceling it it ended up taking about five days but once i figured out what the problem was it only took like two days so the normal amount is like two to three days so i'm glad that i had that problem so we could actually talk about it because like i said i've used this site a lot and i've never had that issue but i've never had an order this large before so it makes sense i tried reaching out to buy and asking them like what was the issue and they like i assumed would have no answer for me they said sometimes packages are heavy and then and then we cancel them <laughs> that's literally what it is okay i was like okay so i just kind of kept pl playing around with it until i figured out okay i need to switch every individual package to buy air and then it would go through i don't know another note i did win another really good lot in the past couple days i was able to pick up this awesome ps3 ps2 and gamecube lot for only $60, that's amazing, because that's the best kind of lot, because even if none of these work, it'll be fine. I mean, look how clean this PS3 looks. You know what I mean? Even if it has yellow light or whatever, uh, I'm sure some of these consoles will be fixable. Uh, it's probably gonna be about $60 to ship, so we're at $120. We're at less than $20 a piece for these consoles. That's really awesome, really stoked about that. That's the best part about this site. You can snipe out stuff like this, you know. Xbox 360 is not looking too good, but these, I'm not really concerned with that. The PS3 was really what I was looking for uh, because my PS3 is thrashed and I would love to replace the casing on it and uh, do some swaps and then get this one running and maybe even mod it. I will check back with you guys in a couple days. Well, it's probably going to be, it says the shipping's like, what it say, uh, five to seven days or something like that so i'll check back with you guys when i get the package in we'll do a little unboxing and uh we'll see what what we got in those gamecube boxes i'm very uh, excited to see what's in there so i'll see you guys in a couple days all right guys here it is the big box of good stuff come here all right so it's been about a week and i finally got the box in as you can see it's a very big box uh, this video went on a little bit longer than I wanted to, but that's okay. It's got a lot of really good information on it, so I don't want to cut it any shorter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this box. I'm going to hold on to it for next week's video. We're going to open it up, go through everything. So subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned until next week. We'll be going through this box thoroughly and seeing what we got and seeing what works and what doesn't. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next week. Here, let's see. That's a size comparison. He's huge, by the way.